Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the PGA National Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we are answering a question from Brian Holgate about why he's fading the driver. Just before we get into the video, social media accounts in the bottom of the screen, so if you don't already please go ahead and follow me on those. So I asked on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter the other day what you would like me to film in terms of topics and Brian Holdgate made a comment and he was asking why he was cutting the driver. Now I'm going to make a few assumptions here. The way he posts that comment, I'm assuming that he's hitting the iron clubs pretty straight, possibly even on a slight draw, not too sure. But the way he said it was almost as if the driver was the one that was cutting. And the reason I can make those assumptions is because this is something we see quite commonly. Golfers can often have a golf swing which produces shots with the irons which are relatively straight. However, when they pick up the driver, they suddenly start moving that ball on a left to right shape, at least for a right-handed golfer. There are a few reasons why this happens, and we're going to give Brian a couple of little things that he can do on the golf course which might help him neutralize this ball flight. So, what is probably happening with Brian is he's probably hitting his iron shots with a slightly descending blow, so potentially hitting down and taking a divot after the golf ball. This is exactly how we would like to hit our iron shots. When Brian picks up the driver, he's probably hitting the golf ball with a slightly upward hit, so an ascending blow. And again, this is exactly what we would like to do with the driver. We'd like to hit down on the irons and up on the driver. Now, without going into too much detail, if Brian is hitting up on the driver, effectively, he's hitting the golf ball much later in the golf swing because the golf club has gone downwards, reached the bottom of its arc, and it's beginning to work upwards. So it's being hit at a later point in the swing. If we hit the ball at a later point in the swing, there is a greater chance of the club path, which is the direction that the golf club is traveling when it hits the golf ball, of that club path being to the left of the target. So let's just give you an example of that. If I was to take my setup, and you can see from the face on camera that I've got that golf ball way forward in my stance, ridiculously forward, I would never have it that far forward. What you'll see from the down the line view is that when I make a golf swing, I could have a golf swing which on camera looks perfect. I get some great positions, if you want to call them that. But when I hit that golf ball, because it's so late in the golf swing, my club path about here could be zero, straight. But when I hit that golf ball, you can see how my club is moving to the left of the target. So with the same golf swing, I would have a club path which is excessively left. And when the club path is left, we get that ball curving to the right in most cases. So we really need to try and neutralize the path because I would suggest that the path of the driver is left. Now, the good news is we can neutralize the path by hitting a little bit more to the right. We can stay hitting up on the ball, but if we can hit more to the right, that neutralizes the fact that it's going up and left and we can hit some more fairways. So here's what we're gonna get Brian to do. The first thing I want Brian to check his, is his upper body alignment. There is a chance that these shoulders are going to align a little left because when the ball gets more forward, we tend to find the upper body moves a little bit more around to the left. So the first thing I want Brian to do is feel like he actually closes his shoulders a little bit to the target. So he may well feel that his shoulder alignment is a little bit more up the right hand side of the fairway, but this is absolutely fine. The second thing we want, and this is more of an idea and a feeling, is I want Brian to feel or imagine that the golf ball is split into two. We've got an outside part of the ball and an inside part of the ball. And what I would really like Brian to try and do is to feel like once he's got his shoulder alignment, what he feels is maybe a little bit more of the right hand side. He then in his golf swing attempts to hit the inside part of the ball. By changing the shoulder alignment a little and trying to feel that we hit the inside part of the ball, we are hopefully going to change the club path a little bit we're going to get that club path moving a little bit more to the right and then that is fine as long as we hit up on the ball which i believe brian is doing we're probably going to get a club path which is much closer to zero so in summary if we hit up on the golf ball with the driver which we'd like to do there is a greater chance that the club path is going to be to the left we therefore need to do a couple of things in our goal swing to try and move the club path or the swing direction, I should say, more out to the right of the target to neutralize the fact that we're hitting up on the golf ball. So what we'd like to do is change this without any technical change. We don't want to change the golf swing. It sounds to me like Brian's got a pretty good golf swing, but if we can make a few adjustments in the setup, we can change the path, and that's hopefully going to help him hit the driver 
on the same flight as he would hit the irons. Right, let me go ahead and hit this one. So I'm going to take my setup and then we're going to do those couple of things. So I'm going to make sure that my shoulder alignment gets a little bit more up the right hand side and I'm going to try and hit the inside of this golf ball. Okay, and that's moved on a pretty right to left ball flight, so I know that my club path was to the right of the target, mainly due to those things that I did in my setup. So hopefully that is helpful to you, Brian. Uh, if it is, let me know. It'd be great to hear your feedback, whether that does help you. Any other comments from you guys would be appreciated. Pop those in the box down below. I'd do my best to respond to as many as I can. There's a like button down there, so if you did like the video, click that. It really does help me. And lastly, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free, well worth doing. There's loads more videos already on there, and there's loads more being uploaded weekly. So just clicking the link in the description will allow you to do just that. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.